Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joed Lopez with a review of Elementary OS. So, uh, first impressions, I was super, super impressed with this OS. Uh, I don't tend to go with the quote-unquote boutique or, uh, you know, individually maintained, you know, not individually as a person, but like, you know, those smaller Linux distributions just because... You know, I just have, there's a sense of certainty or stableness and dependency um, with those, some of the bigger distros um, like Ubuntu, more established, that you know it's not going anywhere if you end up do falling in love. And um, after catching the Linux, Linux Action Show, I think it was, um, or it was, no, actually it was, oh man, I hope they don't get mad at me for this, but it was the Brian Lund Lunduk Hour. Uh, or Linux and whatnot with Brian Lund Duke and Matthew Hardy, I think that's his name, um, where they, they were interviewing um, the makers of uh, Mate, Ubuntu Mate, um, Elementary OS, and also Solus OS. They're all being interviewed. And I, I already had, I already uh, appreciated Ubuntu Mate. It was very nostalgic. I have it on my other system downstairs uh, in the living room. And uh, pretty solid. Can't complain. And uh, I have Solus OS on another uh, beater laptop that is runs it runs amazingly well. Just inc super impressed with Solus OS. And then I tried to put in Solus OS on this. And this is, which is just like a beat up old iMac. Um, and man... Was I impressed by Solus, uh, by Elementary OS with this? It booted up. Solus didn't, but this one did. And um, I was just, everything was so snappy. So snappy. So nice. Uh, my wife immediately liked it. I had Peppermint OS on here. And uh, even with Peppermint OS, which is pretty much a very slimmed down, streamlined, um, it wasn't as fast as this, which is interesting because. You know, I just thought this was going to be a little heavier on my system, but for whatever reason, it's actually super snappy, quicker, um, not by much, but quick enough for me to notice it on the system for, uh, on this, device, on this, uh, hardware. So here, I like the fact that it's based on Ubuntu because when it comes to installing things, I have more flexibility. Um, and overall, just really like it. Really, really like it. Um, I would definitely, I guess I can say I, could rec I would recommend this to, to those who are trying, who are looking to ease in Linux. Um, what's this? Look, this is the, this is the hardware I'm running. Can you believe it? Look at this, two gigs of RAM. And this thing is pretty solid. So good. And this is the Loki edition. Puts on LTS. Um, I mean, this right here. Do a quick review. Like these, uh, super snappy. When I search for apps, super snappy. Or you can go with this style. If you want like a all-in-one app drawer experience. This guy, super snappy. Boom, it disappears. Boom, it comes back. Multitasking. So good. Super fast, super clean. Just even down to the keyboard shortcuts that they put in here is pretty solid. Uh, that's I the one thing I had issues with is like brightness. I couldn't do it off the keyboard. And whatever reason my power setting didn't have a, a, a place to adjust it. So I had to install a gnome applet where I can do this and just adjust the screen brightness so I don't piss off my wife when it's like brightening up the room while she's trying to go to sleep anyways elementary OS Loki super solid pretty happy with this um, and uh, great place to revive old hardware while still feeling modern that's it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Have a good one. Catch you guys later. Peace.